Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Section 333 here. How you guys doing today? Uh, so this is actually January 2nd, so it's uh, the new year is in full swing, I guess, at this point. Um, and uh, uh, yesterday, New Year's Day, was actually not a cold day at all, by any means. Um, today, however, is brisk. <laughs> Went to a little New Year's Eve party um, a couple days ago on uh, Monday, and uh, one of my friends gave me a FESS a FS uh, pipe. This is Church Warden, and uh, yeah, I was a big Lord of the Rings fan, just like uh, Professor Walker there on Law and Smoke. Um, not so much of the movies, in all honesty. Uh, which I believe also, Professor Wall. I don't know how you felt about the movies. Uh, if you see this video, uh, Law and Smoke, please uh, chime in. But um, I was a huge fan of the books. Uh, these were books that I read as, uh, I believe, going into freshman year of high school. Uh, the summer reading list between junior high and freshman year um, one of the book choices we had to read three books and one of the book choices was Lord of the Rings so I went to the library and I got Lord of the Rings and I brought home all three books and I said to my father I said dad each one of these is the size of a book what do I do <laughs> and uh, he said well it's a trilogy so it's all considered one story so to me that's one book he said so he made me read the whole thing and uh the, he called the teacher to, he said let me check you know and the teacher says no it's one book so <laughs> i read all three of those plus two other books uh that year uh crime and punishment was one of them which was actually a lot better than i thought it was going to be And I read a book about the life of a man named Frederick Sanger, who uh, invented insulin. Um, a lot of it was about his research. Going into that. Uh, I think one of them had to be a uh, biography of somebody. So I figured if I'm going to read a biography, let me read one about somebody who didn't uh, make so much money for himself, but did something to better the world. He sold the patent for uh, insulin for one dollar. Because he felt that um, everyone should be able to access the benefits of it. Very And, uh, you know, that was like one of the things. And then, before the summer reading list, my father gave me the, uh, I used to do summer book reports for him on a regular basis. Uh, it would keep me busy if I wasn't away at camp or something like that. Even when you went to camp, he says, oh, take a book with you because you never know. And he was right, you know. And now you always want to, it's funny how I think we kind of take it for granted now. Um, my wife always traveled with a book. I think the greatest gift I ever gave her, I brought her one of the first Kindles when they came out. And, uh, you know, literally my wife could carry thousands of books. She's hyperlexic. She reads at uh, an inordinate rate, um, just soaks in information. But uh, for those of us that read at a more normal pace, you know, it's me, you know, <laughs> and, uh, 
but nonetheless, I enjoy reading. So, my buddy and I, one of the things, excuse me, one of the things that we really enjoyed reading were Lord of the Rings. And it was a book we had in common, my buddy, uh, my buddy Tom, he gave me this pipe. Um, and they smoked these church wardens. So I was a huge Tolkien fan. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of symbolatry here. in, uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, there's uh, a Christian allegory as well involved in there. Uh, with, uh, Gandalf, when he comes back from being dead, he's all in the white. Yeah. Instead of Gandalf the Grey. He becomes a more righteous uh, person. Uh, and he's more pure in, in his quest. So, he got me this church warden because he knew I liked to smoke pipes. Not all my friends are pipe smokers, but uh, Tom is not. He's actually a cigar guy. Um, but, uh, very nice um, pipe. Beautiful church warden. It's got a stinger on this end, uh, and there is a 6 millimeter filter right up in here in the tip. Um, it's a nice pipe. I, I, I am enjoying smoking it. And what am I smoking in it, you ask? Hobbit's weed. That's right. Hobbit's weed. I wonder if there is something called long bottom leaf, which is what was uh, smoked in the, in, uh, the books. It's actually a very nice smoking pipe, too. Uh, smokes very easy. Um, Hobbit's weed is one of those uh, one of those aromatics that I actually enjoy. I can't say that about every aromatic. I can certainly say it about Hobbit's weed, though. And I'm drinking the Valhalla Java Almighty, the Black Label Society blend of Death Wish Coffee. The Odin Force blend. But, uh, yeah, I've done a review on Hobbit's Weed before by Tewksbury. It's from a company in Denver, Colorado. Tewksbury and Company. It's a cherry aromatic. This is one of those things that I could smoke in the house. The wife does not mind if I smoke this in the house. It has a very cherry scent. Uh, it will ghost your pipe, so... This pipe will be for Hobbit's weed, basically. Usually, I smoke this in an hour, in a uh, corn cob pipe because um, it does ghost your pipe. So I usually smoke uh, all my aromatics in cobs. Um, this pipe will be designated purely for the smoking of Hobbit's weed. Uh, it's a novelty pipe. It certainly is. Um, the upside of it is it's actually comfortable to smoke because you can keep it in your hand like this. Keep it all the way down here. And just... It's actually a very nice chill pipe just to chill out and smoke because you don't have to hold it up here. Hold it down here in your lap.
I mean, I will probably do some more research on the origin of the church warden pipe. Um, but I can certainly see the practicality of it. As you can, like I said, you can just sit and... Smoke it at your leisure. And I tell you, the harvest wheat is uh, has a decent flavor, has a very good flavor to it. Um, it's Virginia's in Cavendish. I don't believe there's any burley in it at all. Uh, and it's got that cherry topping on it and cherry casing. It's um, it's not medicine-y. It doesn't remind me at all of uh, cherry NyQuil like some do. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's not obnoxious, uh, in any way, this particular blend. The tobacco they make it from is good which I've tried to reinforce when it comes to uh, aromatics. One of the reasons why so many people don't like aromatics or they get turned off to pipe smoking is because one of the first tobaccos you will try will be an aromatic. And oftentimes aromatics are poorer quality tobaccos or inferior quality tobacco and you mask that inferior quality with flavors and syrups and molasses or whatever and once the casing burns off you're left with a very inferior quality tobacco and you get a very ashy taste in your mouth um that's not the case with like hobbit's weed it's not the case with drew estates uh, aromatics which are no longer available um if you and a lot of European aromatics too. Um, if you use if you use uh, quality tobaccos and case those and don't overdo it with your casing, you can come up with a good aromatic. Uh, Hobbit Sweet is a good aromatic. Um, it may not be my go-to smoke. My go-to smoke <laughs> is either Durbar or I would go with uh, Pardon me, Frog Morton Cellar. Um, both of which are not readily available. Um, <laughs> now, I'm probably going to, my next video, I'm thinking we should do a video on, it's also good that you can point with this. Um, I'm thinking we should do a video on what my top five tobaccos were for 2018. Um, and it would be not my top five tobaccos, really. It would be my top five new tobaccos that I tried for 2018 that I thought were just awesome. And, I mean, if I were to do an all-time favorite tobaccos um, that's kind of an easy list to make
but of the ones I reviewed in 2018, I'll do a top five list of those. Um, I'll rank them, so to speak. If I had to do a top five all time, that's tougher. But it can be done. Surprisingly, that has not changed much. Um, I don't know now. Like, I think this used to be in my top five of all time. I don't know that I would consider this in my top five anymore. Definitely my top ten. Uh, and probably one of two aromatics in the bunch. In my top ten. Because I think the other one would be uh, Harvest on the Hudson by Drew Estates. It's very good. Um, apple, cinnamon... Uh, blend tobacco, pear, a lot of the fall, you get fall fruit in it, apricot, things like that. Um, the dog's so funny, just watching her roll around the yard. What is she hunting for? The other day she found a mouse in the, uh, in the flower bed, just running around out here. Yeah, I think she was hoping it was going to play with her, but it didn't. So, beautiful pipe. Definitely a gorgeous pipe. I, I may get another church warden at some point, one that I can smoke uh, some of my other uh, blends with, because like I said, I think I'm gonna designate this to uh, purely hobbit's weed. Um, even though I don't smoke much hobbit's weed, I don't anticipate I'm gonna, it's a novelty pipe. I can't take it anywhere with me, so. <laughs> It wouldn't be something I would take someplace because it's it's huge. Yeah. But it's certainly something if I was smoking out here in the yard. Oh, she went after something. It's certainly something I would smoke out here in the yard. And uh, oftentimes I, w I don't take Hobbit's weed with me. If I'm going someplace with, I, I might take uh, a McClellan blend with me or something. Because I really want to enjoy my smoke. Not to say that I don't enjoy Hobbit's weed, but I really supremely enjoy those other blends. smoke's very cool too. I gotta tell you, one of the appeals I think with this is how cool this smokes. Um, I guess because it has all that pipe to travel through and it's cold out and this cold air is probably it's conducting. That's just me theorizing. But it is a great pipe. I thank my buddy for it. And uh, I thank you guys all for watching the channel. Um, like I said, I got a lot of new blends, things coming for 2019. Really looking forward to it. And uh, catch me on Instagram, too, actually. Um, same, same handle, section 333.
post pictures of pipe stuff, things like that. The car. I do a lot of the car on that. Um, my other interests, guitars, food, things like that. Um, but like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you haven't gotten a church warden, I, I, it's fun. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's definitely fun. Uh, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, I highly recommend it because it will give you that whole uh, Gandalf the Grey feel. Hmm. And if you haven't tried Hobbit's Weed, actually, I, I, I recommend it. And this is, uh, I'm a Latakia guy. Always, th through and through. Always will be a Latakia man. And, uh, I highly recommend the Hobbit's Weed. If you haven't tried it yet. Uh, I believe he sells it. You can get a couple ounces at a time. Get, I, I believe I bought eight ounces. Hobbit Sweet, it's lasted me quite some time. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope the year is going to go great for everybody and everybody has a blessed and wonderful year, alright?